Hello everybody, this is my very simple generator back feed setup. We have a 6,000 watt, 6,000 running watt generator, 7,000 watt peak with a twist lock plug and an appliance cord. That plugs in to there. So then we have our panel here. So let's say the power goes out. This is the main panel, and then there's a sub panel in the house, and there's another sub panel that runs out here to our little shed. But anyway, so main power goes out to everybody. Shut off the main coming in from the pole. Let's see. This one I marked. This is the 50 amp breaker. This goes to my dryer on the other side of the wall, and it goes to this outlet. So kick that off. Cows main on. Keep everything else on. Keep that on especially. Hook up that to there, start the Jenny, and there you go. And eventually you notice the old neighbors or whoever else starts to have power on. Okay, kick this off. You can kick the main back on, see if the house, the power, you have power from the pole again. If so, kill the Jenny and disconnect, and you're done. Real simple. Um, you have to know what you're doing, or else you will blow up the generator or kill a lineman, but as long as you know to keep this off when the generator's on and have it, you know, uh, whenever it is on, the generator's off, plugged, then you're fine. And, uh, just a real simple little gas generator. Well, I say little, it's 6,000 watt running watts. It's pretty good, but it's not electric start or anything. I think it's like a six gallon tank. Plus I got some extra fuel and the, the old pole barn back here for it. Can't even see it. There's the pole barn. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.